Hi, my name is Alana Pacheco. I'm from the University of Sao Paulo, Brazil, and I'll talk about layer double hydroxides from rehydration of calcium aluminates. I study by in situ calorimetry and lungs. This work aims to investigate the D and rehydration of cat and water, discussing the applicability as an alternative binder or supplementary cementitious material. To achieve this, we synthesize catwhite by mechanochemistry, mixing calcium and aluminum hydroxides in a planetary ball mill for one hour. The synthesized catwhite was dehydrated at 400 degrees for two hours. Then the dehydrated powder was rehydrated in deionized water. The synthesized catwhite, the dehydrated powder, and the rehydrated product were characterized by X-ray diffraction. The rehydration reaction was followed by isothermal calorimetry and in situ wide angle X-ray scattering performed with synchrotron radiation. The XRD results show that mechanosynthesis was able to produce well-formed catwhite. The dehydration of catwhite produced mainly meganite, and the rehydrated pattern after 24 hours leads to the assemblage of calcium monocarboaluminate and reformation of catwhite. The formation of monocarboaluminate happens because it is a layer double hydroxide that can easily form through the presence of carbonate ions in the solution or the dissolution of atmospheric CO2. The calorimetry analysis of the rehydration reaction show that the heat liberation is higher in the first minutes. The heat flow exhibits only one peak at three minutes and there is no other peak in 48 hours. The total cumulative heat in 48 hours was close to 300 joules per gram, and it is important to notice that in 13 minutes, the reaction reached 50% of the total cumulative heat. So, is this flash heat liberation associated with the reformed phases of XRD? To answer this question, we performed in situ wax investigation. The results show the assemblage of monocarboaluminate and catwhite in 29 seconds. The curve shows the consumption of meganite with time. Simultaneously, we can see the increase of monocarboaluminate peaks, showing that this phase is continuous formation. When we correlate the cumulative heat with the peak intensities in walks, we can see that the formation of monocarboaluminate is directly associated with the consumption of meganite. The transformation is very quick, especially until 170 joules per gram, corresponding to the first 18 minutes. At this time, monocarboaluminate is the predominant phase. These findings confirm that the heat released during the rapid rehydration is associated with the phase reformations. Also, the results evidence the potential applicability of this material as a fast set binder or a supplementary cementitious material. This applicability should be investigated. We conclude that calorimetry reveals high heat production less than 30 minutes. Wax shows reformation of hydrated phases in 29 seconds with the prompt recovery of catwhite, consumption of meganite, and increasing formation of monocarboaluminate. The analysis confirms that the heat released during the rapid rehydration is correlated with phase reformations and the material presents potential applicability as a facet binder or SEM. Thank you.